Let's go to Wyoming. We're charged to 85%. The EA is not too far away in Kodak, Tennessee. So that's not a problem. This is our run today. Our destination will be Nashville. Two charge stops, one at Kodak, Tennessee, the other one in uh, Cookville. All right, I'm headed to a meeting at 9 a.m. And then from there, I'm on the road headed to the west. Let's go. Just leaving the house at 246 miles and 85%, now 84%. Just up here on Interstate 26, overcast. Over the next six weeks, you're going to see a lot of this windshield, and you see the velvet here. That is not a towel, that is not a rag, that is a piece of black velvet. Its whole job in life is to eat the reflections that come off of the dashboard. So when I video out the front window, you guys get a nice clear view and no reflection of the dashboard. I think we found everybody. We're up here in the Asheville, North Carolina area. Construction's been here for years. They say it's five to six years with as many people as they have working on it. Mm, I believe it. Just about ready to get off for my first uh, stop here. Be here for maybe an hour, maybe a little more. And then on to Nashville today. My stop is done. We are headed to Nashville. Looks like the first stop will be in Kodak, Tennessee at the Harley Davidson here. If I look here, we can see uh, the nav says uh, we arrive at Harley Davidson. We then, uh, next stop will be in Cookville and then on to Nashville. Looks like arrival will be about 4 p.m. It is now 10.17 a.m. We lose one hour when we get to Nashville. We're leaving at 201 miles or 69%. I am up here on Interstate 26, just about ready to get out of this darn construction. We've got a chicane. There we go. We're out on the new part of the highway and almost to Interstate 40. Just entering the gorge here between North Carolina and Tennessee, sometimes called the Gap. The gorge is in full bloom. Look at all the leaves. Yeah, looks pretty nice. Great day. High clouds, sunny in places. Just going through the gorge here. 42 miles to the uh, EA Charger at uh, Kodak, Tennessee. We're now on lane keeping or pilot assist or whatever they call it. And it says uh, road curves ahead. As you can see, there are. We're uh, just tooling through the gorge here. Comes up a big right-hander up here. We'll see how it goes. Of course, I have my hand on the wheel to keep it happy.
Tennessee we made it so look at this you can see that we're preparing the battery for fast charging I know the Rivian does that and I know the Tesla's do that I don't believe my Ford Lightning does that It'd be a good thing to do we're just about at the rest stop this is a rest stop here in Tennessee it's the usual stop and uh, comes up fast just over this little bump and wham here it is I usually stop here generally if uh, the traffic's dorked up or whatever and drive southwest then turn left yes turn left yes dear yeah it looks pretty crowded today go park on the end spot need to walk anyway When I got back in the car from the rest stop, the navigation rerouted once I started the car, which is good. I mean, it's telling me to go to the Knoxville EA. Knoxville EA has one operational 350, the other 350 is at 50 kilowatts, and there are 200 or two 150s. Well, I'm going to go to the Harley Davidson, which is here in Kodak where it was originally taking me. It's 20-some uh, miles short of Knoxville, but got enough range to go all the way to Cookville for my next stop. So we're just going to uh, drive into Kodak and uh, do our thing. Man, I got her all upset. She wants me to turn around and go this way and that way and all that. It's all right. The... Um, Harley Davidson's just up here to my left, and uh, we'll head up there and uh, hook up. Drive southwest on top flight drive, then make a left U turn. Yep, here's where our EA chargers are. Right here. Drive left, turn right, then turn left. Oh, she's upset. Right. Turn left, then turn right. Let's see. He is not knowing what he's doing, maybe. I don't know. Tell you what, uh, I think we'll pull in here because I can charge on the far side, I think. So that's 150, that's 350, yeah. 
All right, have a look at the stats here. It looks like um, got, uh, I don't know, well, I guess we better look here. 98 miles of range and 34%. Let's get hooked up. Now I'm hooking up to the EA. So you know the way to do it is uh, you uh, go on with your EA app, you start it, then you hook it up. That's the procedure. All right, open the hatch. We'll uh, start this baby up. Is she working? I think so. Let's see. Yeah, it looks good. It's hard to see, but you can see it. All right. Well, Daddy ain't paying because he already paid. That's what I'm talking about. 206 kilowatts. Another thing I like about the Rivian, it actually shows you your charge power. And uh, it's getting to it, 208 kW. Sure beats uh, some of the places. Uh, my lightning on a 350 will do maybe, if the conditions are right, 170 kilowatts. This is substantially more. All right, well, let's check the nav now and see where it wants to take us. Uh, I'm gonna stop it and I'm going to uh, restart it, pull it out here a little bit. We are going to Nashville. Let's see what the nav wants us to do. Well, still wants us because the state of charge is, uh, um, what, 102 miles. It wants us to stop at um, this EA here in Knoxville. That's what we're trying to avoid. What we're going to do is continue to charge. And I'm going to charge enough where the navigation will not uh, choose this one in Knoxville, which happens to be um, relatively unstable. And uh, I want to charge here in Cookville. If we look over here, you can see it wants us to uh, charge in Knoxville, then it wants to charge in, in Cookville. Cookville is where we want to go. So we'll continue to charge here. Uh, we'll uh, add miles until we have an arrival percentage of say, since this is my first road trip, I'm going to maybe see if I can get 15 or 20% uh, or uh, 50 miles or something like that on arrival. Anyway, so I'm going to take it a little easy. Uh, we're just going to charge up here. Uh, we'll get a good uh, hit of steam, uh, uh, a little bit of power here and there. Uh, what do we got going here? What the heck? Uh, really? 80 kilowatts. You're going to do that to me? Look at this. The first charge stop on my 1600 mile trip, and I'm getting this. Should I change chargers? You betcha. I'm going to move over to the other 350. Let's go. All right, this is the second EA charger. It's also a 350. Oh, holy shit. Pardon my French. This one gives out 50. Really? It says it's reduced. What the heck's that? You know, EA... I thought you had it good and together. All right, I'm back on the original. The other one's only 50 kilowatts. How do you run a business like that? I wanna know. All right, we're gonna start it again on the app, plug it in. Hey, at least it knows it's me. Well, that was weird. Why was it 19 before? Uh, I don't know. Okay, well, I'll pay the 29. Just give me the 350, I'm good. Continue, yeah. Continue. 
That's it. Give it to me. Okay, hold that. Don't give up. We're getting there now. I redid the nav here to uh, take us all the way to Cookville. Don't need to stop on the other side of Knoxville. That's the uh, EA that's uh, halfway broken all the time. It says 72 miles on arrival, right? Well, but that's not the case. It's really 62 miles on arrival at my next charge stop, and it's 72 on arrival in Nashville. Uh, it's kind of deceiving, so if you would see that and say, dang, okay, we're done, we're ready to go, let's go, right? You're, uh, you're good to go. So anyway, that's not the case. So I'm gonna let it charge here a little bit. I think we're just about done, we're at uh, 80% down to 55 kilowatts and uh, let's have a look at our arrival yeah see now it's 82 miles uh arrival in cookville which is fine it gives us some latitude uh, for this that and the other all right it's time to unplug according to this we've received uh 54.7 kilowatt hours of energy i think we're good let's go and i think uh according to this we're at 82 percent I think we're fine, let's move it. We're up here on Interstate 40 westbound, 237 miles, 82%. It's a good number. It's easy to get to 82% relatively quick. The EA station worked on the second go around. Was interesting as I swiped it using my account. I plugged it in like I always do and it came up and it said driver. Apparently it didn't recognize my swipe it ran for a little bit at full power, dropped to 40. Maybe that's some kind of default mode now. Don't know. I then redid it. I switched to another one and realized it was 50 kilowatts. I went back to the original 350, only to find out that plugging in, swiping it, it did say, Hi, Dave. So it recognized my account and it charged properly. I'm guessing, I don't know, but maybe there's some kind of grace where if you plug it in and it doesn't know who you are, it gives you a little bit of energy and then drops to some very low power. Don't know. I am on the road. Next stop will be Cookville, Tennessee. A little uh, help for the Rivian team. Since I'm going through uh, two stops, Putting the end arrival percentage does absolutely no good. Uh, if you look here, the arrival percentage in uh, Cookville is 86%. You should be showing 86% down there, right? Makes sense, because that's where I'm gonna be next. Okay, well there you go, to do. 197 miles to go, and three hours and 30 minutes. We'll get there about 4.11. Man, what a day. Temperature is uh, 84 degrees. We're sent in the battery. And uh, if we look over here, it's 73 miles to go with an arrival percentage of 92 miles. Not bad. We're getting off. Oh no. State Route 136. The Rivian's got a real hard turn to it. I can't hardly hold it. It wants to turn to the right. What the heck? Man, it's pulling hard to the right. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh no! On South Jefferson Avenue, State Route 136. Ben, in 100 feet, drive north on South Jefferson Avenue, State Route 136. 
Then, in 500 feet, turn right onto Neal Street. Then, pull up to the drive through and order lunch. Wow, didn't that thing look good? That's what I'm talking about. We're getting there now. The EA station here is at Sam's Club. Where? I don't know. Someplace. Oh, there they are. Now, this is one of these cases where there's uh, 350... I'm not sure which is which, so I am going to, I think this is a 350 here. I'm thinking, yep. So I'm going to check it. This is number two. Let me check the app real quick. At 47%, still 166 kilowatts. I think I'll top this up to 150 miles. I have 86 miles to go. I am ready to go. Got uh, 36 miles on arrival. That's plenty. Let's do it. Your feet. Turn left onto South Jefferson Avenue. Looks like arrival will be 3.06 p.m. 79 miles. Do an energy check. 150 miles and 52%. Uh, and uh, if we look over here, 73 miles to go, make that 75 miles. I get 65 miles of range on arrival. Look at these windows. I'm trying to be like my idol, Kyle Connor. Kind of mess them up. I guess they took a page from the Tesla Autopilot. Just driving along, got my hand on the wheel, got the capacitive touch here, all's good. And it pops up with a message that says, no driving, no drive, let's see, no highway information. You know, hold the wheel. Okay, I'm holding the wheel. Then it pops up with a red steering wheel saying that uh, no uh, autopilot or whatever they call it, and now I have no uh, auto steer until my next drive. And I think you got a little software bug there, Rivian. I don't know what's going on. I've been driving like this for five hours. My hand on the wheel and everything. So, you guys need to figure out what's going on. Check your uh, crash uh, uh, log and see what heck happened there. Because uh, that wasn't right. Just passing the town of Lebanon to my right. We are getting there now. I am in Nashville. Yes, I am. Look at that. 333 miles driven. Pretty good miles, actually. All in all, the Rivian drove very well. I'm very pleased with it. It rides uh, very well. Of course, I probably got a half a ton of crap in the uh, vehicle in the front and in the back, but that's okay. The ride was nice, I charged twice, and uh, probably more than I needed. I arrived with 24% uh, in the battery, or 70 miles of range. That's uh, pretty good, I think it predicted like 82 miles on arrival. All in all, uh, the first leg of my Wyoming trip did well. Something to look forward to. I'll be here in Nashville for several days and then on the way to Wyoming. So I'll see what else I can dig up here. You just never can tell. Thanks for watching. If you like today's video, go ahead and give me a like. And if you would, please subscribe. Pass my videos on to your friends and let them know that I'm taking a Rivian to Wyoming and points west. So it should be a good time. I will look for you in tomorrow's video and take care.